In this video, I'm going to provide an in-depth guide on how you can achieve a Greek soldier-like physique. A Greek soldier aesthetic look is lean, muscular, and has a balanced build without a single muscle group looking disproportionate compared to others. The ultimate aesthetic build. Specifically, the distinctive features of a Greek warrior body are broad shoulders, a deep, well-developed back, a V-taper waistline with ripped abs and obliques, and big but balanced legs and calves. First step, chiseling away fat. Have you ever seen a picture of a Greek soldier with a bulging waistline and a double chin? Exactly, there's none. From Greek warriors to Greek gods, they all have the picture-perfect bodies with their washboard abs and muscular backs, arms, and lower bodies. If you're aiming to nail that Greek soldier aesthetic, then you should be striving to cut your body fat percentage by 10-12%. to 12%. According to the American College of Sports Medicine, the body fat percentage range of 4 to 18% falls under the good to very lean category for men aged 20 to 39. Likewise, they also caution men to have body fat percentages at no less than 3% for health purposes. Taking from another Greek tradition, which is the Olympic Games, many men Olympic athletes belong within this category. Since the inspiration for sculptors came from Greek athletes and warriors, this range is a good benchmark for your goal. Odds are, your current body fat percentage is outside the range, which is why your first goal is to shed off fats until you enter the good body fat category. You can measure your body fat percentage yourself with the use of an electro bio impedance scale or handheld device. Alternatively, seek a professional to have your skin folds taken and conduct a body fat percentage test for more accuracy. For more information on how to significantly reduce your body fats, be it love handles or belly fat, I'll be talking more about that shortly, so stay tuned. Once you've entered the ideal body fat percentage, it's time to do this next step, which is also the very core of your journey. Second step, sculpting the muscles with the right exercises. Now, I'm going to delve deeper into what certain exercises you can do based on the key muscle groups needed to be trained to build up all the necessary muscle mass for an aesthetic Greek soldier body. Back. The human back is a complex body part composed of numerous muscle groups, one of which being the latissimus dorsi or lats, the largest muscle in the upper body. Taking that into account, I recommend training your back with horizontal pulls, vertical pulls, and hip hinges. These three types of exercises will provide a varied stimulus and allow you to develop the back necessary for a Greek god physique. Particularly, moves like pull-ups and lat pull-downs are great for developing back width, while rowing exercises excel at building back thickness. Horizontal Pull Exercises Number 1. Inverted Row Number 2. Barbell Bent Over Row Number 3. T-Bar Row Number 4. Dumbbell Row Number 5. Seated Cable Row Number 6. Chest Supported Dumbbell Incline Row Vertical Pull Exercises Number 1. Cable Lat Pulldown Number 2. Pull-up Number three, chin up. Number four, single arm lat pull down. Number five, dumbbell barbell shrug. Hip hinge exercises. Number one, barbell deadlift. Number two, sumo deadlift. Number three, reverse hyperextension. Number four, hip thrust. Number five, glute bridge. Number six, rack pull. Nothing screams, whoa, look at that guy, more than a pair of broad shoulders. As for what exercises to train with to achieve, let's take a look. Shoulders Like the back musculature, your shoulders, aka deltoids, play a crucial role in achieving the Greek warrior body. Developed shoulders translate to a more distinct upper body and a smaller waist. That is, if you have the right combination of exercises that target the shoulders from various angles. The deltoid muscle group has three heads, the anterior front, middle, lateral, and rear posterior. You need to train each head to get that round, prominent, and balanced shoulder look. For anterior delts, number Number 1. Cable and Dumbbell Front Raise Number 2. Seated Shoulder Dumbbell Press Number 3. Barbell Overhead Press For Lateral Delts, Barbell Overhead Press Number 2. Dumbbell Lateral Raises Number 3. Barbell Upright Row For Posterior Delts, Number 1. Face Pull Number 2. Dumbbell Reverse Fly Another set of exercises to incorporate into your routine are those that specifically target the muscles in the chest. Building a broad and thick chest is also important for the Greek soldier physique. Moreover, the chest muscle itself plays an essential role in various athletic activities and has an active involvement in certain gym exercises like dips, overhead presses, and others. For optimal chest development, aim to work the chest muscle from at least two angles. For upper chest, number one, dumbbell barbell incline bench press. Number two, dumbbell incline chest fly. 
Number three, decline push-up. Number four, low cable fly crossover for mid and lower chest. Number one, barbell dumbbell bench press. Number two, pec deck butterfly. Number three, cable fly crossover. Number four, chest dip. Biceps. The front part of the upper arm houses the biceps, which is the biggest contributor to overall arm aesthetics. Note that the triceps isn't just as important. Anyway, when building well-defined biceps in terms of width, thickness, and length, you must train both the short inner and long outer bicep heads. Not to mention that training your biceps with different moves also promotes brachialis development, a muscle that's found underneath the bicep. For the short bicep head, number one, wide grip barbell curl. Number two, concentration curl. Number three, barbell spider curl. Number four, chin up. For the long bicep head, number one, drag curl. Number two, narrow grip barbell curl. Number three, reverse curl. Number four, seated incline dumbbell curl. Number five, dumbbell hammer curl. Number six, rope cable curl. Just as it's crucial to develop your biceps, the same goes for your triceps. This way, you can ensure balance and symmetry of your arms. Triceps The triceps are composed of three muscle heads primarily responsible for straightening your arms. And similar to the biceps, the triceps benefit the most from an adequate emphasis on all three heads. Exercises to target the three-headed triceps muscle group. Number one, triceps rope pushdown. Number two, tricep kickback. Number three, triceps dips. Number four, diamond push-ups. Number five, barbell dumbbell skull crusher. Number six, seated dip machine. Number seven, close grip barbell bench press. Number eight, dumbbell triceps extension. If the arms have biceps and triceps, then the legs also have their main muscle groups. One of them is the gluteus maximus, the largest muscle in the body. Certain moves are used when training the glutes, but more on those in a bit. Quadriceps. The quadriceps is one of the largest muscles in the body, making up the front portion of your thighs. Developing all four heads of this muscle gives your legs a more distinguished appearance and contributes to overall symmetry. One good thing about the quads is that it doesn't need complex training. Nevertheless, you should perform at least two to three of these exercises for best results. Number one, Bulgarian split squat. Number two, barbell squat. Number three, front squat. Number four, goblet squat. Number five, machine leg extension. Number six, machine leg press. Number seven, dumbbell lunge. It's not right to just focus only on the quadriceps. You should also give sufficient attention to the hamstrings. The hamstrings are the muscle group that makes up the rear portion of your thighs. When trained properly, they establish balance in the upper legs and activate great muscle growth. Since the main functions of the hamstrings are knee flexion and hip extension, exercises like these are beneficial for their optimal growth. Number one, glute ham raise. Number two, seated leg curl. Number three, lying leg curl. Number four, barbell deadlift. Number five, dumbbell barbell Romanian deadlift. Glutes. Being the largest muscle in the body, it's no nonsense to include glute-centric exercises in your workout routine for achieving a Greek soldier body. In addition to hip extension, the glutes are also partly responsible for daily functions like walking, jumping, running, and many more. As such, targeting the glutes would have a direct and substantial impact on making the lower body look more prominent and balanced. Some good exercises for your glutes are number one, barbell hip thrust, number two, machine glute kickback, number three, cable pull through, number four, glute bridge, number five, glute ham raise. Continuing with lower body symmetry, the last muscle group you you must train for a Greek warrior body are the calves. Your calves are essential to making your thighs appear more aesthetic. Muscular quads will always look fantastic, but there's also no denying that stick-like lower legs will only diminish the quads' appearance, or at least to some extent. Some exercises to consider for training both calf muscles are number one, machine standing calf raise, number two, seated calf raise, number three, machine calf press. Number four, dumbbell single leg standing calf raise. From reducing your body fat percentage to training your whole body, now it's down to the last and third step that is none other than third step, taking time to recover. Recovery is mandatory. There's no going around it, and it starts the moment you get home after your workout. This includes your post-workout meal. You don't have to rush home to eat it, but you'll want to have it sooner rather than later. Next, engage in active recovery. It means performing light exercises on your rest day, such as going for a walk or taking a leisure bike ride. The reason is that the increased heart rate will promote the pumping of more flesh blood, thus carrying oxygen and nutrients to damaged muscles. And lastly, you must get quality and enough sleep. 
around seven to nine hours of sleep each night. You see, so many important processes occur during sleep. Studies show that better sleep results in higher energy levels, less body fat, improved mood, and your favorite, more muscles. Growth hormones and testosterone are produced and secreted during night sleeping hours. Particularly, it's during the deepest stage of NREM sleep that your body completes its most physically restorative processes. This stage is marked by slow brain activity, low blood pressure, and deeper and slower breath. More importantly, your muscles and tissues are rejuvenated by the increased blood supply which provides more oxygen and nutrients for repair and growth. So, nope, you can't make up for a bad nighttime sleep with an afternoon nap. For those of you who stuck around till the end, here's that secret trick that will be very favorable to your goal. Supplementing Although not necessarily a requirement, certain products can give you an edge. Protein powders, for instance, are a great start because of their concentrated dose of the number one macronutrient for building muscle. A scoop or two of protein powder daily can cover some of your daily protein needs. When shopping for a protein powder, pick something that's mainly all protein and avoid those that are also high in carbs, fats, or both. Creatine is also another supplement to consider as it provides fast energy to the muscles. Moreover, it can improve your recovery. Effective and economical, you only have to take 3 to 5 grams of creatine daily to reap the benefits. I've said this before and I'm going to say it again, you can possibly out-exercise a poor diet. So, if you want to really get the most out of your potential, then you must also learn how to eat the right way. And by the right way, I'm talking about a proven diet for shedding those unwanted fats, which I'll cover in detail in this next video. So, don't forget to watch it next.